what's going on everybody and welcome to Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection. We're going to be playing through this series. Hopefully we'll be able to finish before Uncharted 4 comes out. Um, uh, the day I'm recording this is March 23rd, I believe. And Uncharted 4 comes out on March, uh, I mean April 26th, I think. Last time I checked, it was April 26th. So we have about a month to beat uh, all three games. So that is what we're going to try to do. Uh, so yeah. Now before I start, I'm a little bit rusty with the whole recording thing. I think the last actual Let's Play I recorded was... Uh, Wolfenstein The Old Blood, which came out almost a year ago. So... It's been about 10 months, I guess. Uh, yeah, because that was in May, it's March, yeah, pretty much 10 months. But I have been doing a lot of streaming, uh, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. Hopefully it'll just take like, take a little bit to get back into it, but we'll see. Also, if you, uh, if you would like to watch these things live, I do stream on Twitch, so there will be a link in the description if you're interested in that. But I think uh, we should go ahead and start. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, play through this entire series, so let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I, I guess. We're going to be starting with Uncharted Drake's Fortune because it's the first one. I have... I did play through it the last couple days. It took me five hours to beat, but that was just gameplay. No cutscenes, no looking for treasures or anything, so... Um, we're going to see. I, I just wanted to get, like, reacclimated with the controls and get used to everything. Used to all the game mechanics and stuff. So, that way it wouldn't be absolutely awful at the game when I start, uh, but hopefully I won't be too bad. So I guess we're going to get started right now. Okay, let's go ahead and start a new game. We're going to be playing a campaign and... I think we're just going to stick on normal for now, uh, just because I need to finish these games as quickly as possible, and if I put it on hard, we may be extending the time quite a bit, because I, I did die quite a bit on normal. The game has a... It has a problem with backspawning enemies on you, so we're just going to go ahead and stick to normal. Uh, just so we can finish the game as fast as possible. And, uh, yeah. If I had more time, I'd probably go on hard. But, for now, we're just gonna stick it on normal. Just so we can get the experience, and so I'm not constantly raging all, all the time. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get this started. must be a beginning of any great matter, but the con continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. I am here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <laughs> For example... You can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? <laughs> 
<laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. <sighs> well, how the hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been we are ambushed. I thought I lost them. What'd you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Aiming is a little bit weird for me. These guys don't like you much, do they? Less talking, more shooting. Wow. Come on, headshots. Yeah. Woo! Did not expect that explosion. They're gonna be coming on the boat now. Oh boy, that was that was dumb. Get off my boat, bitch. There we go. Alright. Damn it. I cannot aim. <laughs> I'm not good at doing those brutal combos, so I probably won't be meleeing a whole lot anyway. Sully, where are you? Here we go. Oh, hello. that a boat oh god oh boy I'm gonna die okay that's not good oh he blew up my cover oh thank god Sully my hero uh, okay Was that Sully? That wasn't. Was it? I don't know. Oh God damn it! It is Sully. Under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher, flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here? Before we attract any more attention. Well, 
little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. Drake sailed into the Pacific. He took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships. He took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh huh. So this. But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah. So this. You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. Poor Elena. Chapter 2 The Search for El Dorado. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit. Equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was. Later, you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Yeah, well. Okay. Look at that. He's a treasure. Silver mosaic Inca earring. Hmm. Very nice. Looks like some sort of god or idol, maybe. No. I think those are very interesting people. I am actually half Peruvian, so I do have ink and blood flowing through my veins. I don't know. I've always found uh, these types of cultures pretty interesting. Any culture for that matter. Is there anything up here? Hmm. I guess not. I 
think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. What a goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. All right. <laughs> so. Trying to find a bride in a brothel. I'm guessing we're just moving on past this place, maybe looking for some kind of puzzle. Well, no. This is more like it. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some parkour, I guess. What do you think this is, Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. Huh. scan for shiny things as well find anything nothing yet okay Whoa. oh boy be careful up there I could never do parkour oh boy oh boy oh shit Almost messed up that jump. Camera angles do tend to screw me over a bit. <laughs> uh, before I do that, all right, I don't see anything. And look at that. Good work, kid. <gasps> I think I just saw a piece of treasure up there. I'm gonna go see. I saw like a very, very faint glimmer. Well, it wasn't very faint. It was, I saw a glimmer. I'm not sure if it was just the lighting or if there's an actual piece of treasure over there. So I'm gonna go check. Question is, can I get over there? Oh, I can. Aha! A jeweled silver monkey. Silver mosaic Inca earring. Look at that. It's time to go down into this. Uh, I think we're gonna need the flashlights for this one. Doom. Oh, oh, oh. It's like Indiana Jones. Why are we walking slow? Because there's a cutscene. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. <laughs> what the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. 
Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. <laughs>